Now look at verse 20. I want to show you something that's interesting. Because I've heard people say this all the time. Why, why did God make humans if he knew we were all going to sin anyway? Why did he put us in this mess if he already knew it? Why did he make Adam and Eve if he knew Adam and Eve was going to blow it? That seems crazy. But I want you to look at a scripture here that is profound for Easter. For he was foreknown, Jesus, before the foundation of the world, but appeared in these last time for you and me. Now this is what that tells me. Before there was ever a human being on the planet, before there was ever a sin committed in Adam and Eve, before there was ever you and I, a plan was made to go ahead and kill God off. The plan didn't come after we sinned and he thought, oop, I'm going to have to go kill myself. In other words, the plan to kill God off was not a reactionary plan. The plan to kill God off wasn't our plan. The plan to kill God off came from within the Godhead itself before there was ever anything here to kill him off for. So could you imagine how that powwow must have gone? There are no creation. There is no earth. There is no Adam. There is no Eve. It is the Father and the Word and the Spirit. And they're up there powwowing because they are eternal. They have no mother, they have no father, they have no beginning and no end. So they're sitting there in the vast sum of, of their vastness. <laughs> because I would say the vast sum of the universe, but it's not been created yet. So they're just kind of in their own selves and, and a plan is laid out. Now the plan was not, hey, we're kind of bored up here, which is what we teach. You know, pe most people, we're sort of bored up here and we really want to hang out with some people in fellowship. Let's make people. And that's usually what people teach you, that God was bored. He was sitting up there with himself, looked over at the sun one day, said, I'm tired of talking to you. And, and the sun said, yeah, you too. He said, well, what do you want to talk about? Well, I don't know. And he said, well, I already know what we're going to talk about. How do you know? Because I'm God, so I already know. And there's no reason me to talk to you because I already know what you're going to say because I know all things. So it's kind of hard to talk to somebody that already knows everything you're going to say and already has the answer. Well, that's like a wife, so let me back that up. That's a <laughs> Proving the woman was made by God. She knows all. And so, so you can imagine as they're up there, what do you talk about? You already know everything about each other anyway. It's just the three of you. It's a Father, Son, and a Holy Spirit. And we often say now they were up there and they were bored so they had to make humans and they made humans and then humans blew it and then they, the devil came in and messed it up and then God had to come rescue all of us so he could have fellowship with us again because God's kind of lonely and bored and, and we sort of kind of felt filled that void. Well, let me tell you this. If you're lonely and have a void, then you're not God. Because if you're God, you're not neither lonely nor have a void. So can you imagine as they sit there, the three of them, the father says, I got an idea. What is it? Well, I've been pondering. What are you pondering? Well, oh, are you pondering like making it light and doing all kinds? No, no. I, I, well, I, I don't know. Well. I'm just going to throw it out there to you. What, Dad? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm going to kill you. What do you mean you're going to kill me? Well, yeah, I, I'm going to kill you. Wait a minute. What, why would you kill me? I'm your kid. What do you want to kill me for? Well, I mean, I'm going to have to kill you. Well, you can't kill me. I'm spirit and word. How are you going to kill your own self? That's crazy. You're... You, you can't, we're spirit, you can't kill spirit. I, I know, I, I know, I, I know, but I'm going to have to kill you. Well, help, help me out here. I mean, why? What did I do? Well, you didn't do anything. Exactly. So why would you want to kill me for? I thought we were like this. You and me, dad and son. 
And anytime, Spirit, you want to chime in, come on and help me. Help me. And so, and so the story goes that verse 20 again, before the foundation of the earth, the plan to kill him was already in place. Oh, how that must have really shaken the heavens up. There are no angels yet. There are no people yet. Revelation 13, verse 8, I think it is, in the King James, it kind of tags it differently. It says, the lamb who was slain before the foundations of the earth. Before the earth is ever made. So when we say, well, why would God make us knowing we were going to sin? You have to understand, God already predetermined to kill himself before there was any reason to even kill him in the logical sense of the word. That's how powerful this thing is going to be for me and you as humans.